My name is Callum Johnston and I work as a consultant at SEC Consulting. Today in this short video, I'm going to give you the key things to think about if you are looking to build a brand and tell your own farming story. First of all, why bother? Why should you develop a brand for your farm or croft produce? Well, provenance is hugely important to today's consumer. Consumer demand for local, traceable food and drink with strong provenance has never been higher. Consumers want to source locally, connect with farmers and growers, and learn about farming and crofting practices. Consumers have a greater interest and appreciation of where their food comes from, how it is grown, and also the environmental and economic benefits shopping locally provides by reducing food miles and supporting local communities. Consumers are now more informed and have greater access to information covering topical issues in society, whether it's animal welfare standards, the global climate emergency, or other environmental and ethical issues associated with food production. And this has driven a rise in the conscious consumer, people who care and pay particular attention to the food they produce, they purchase, and consume. Thinking specifically about animal-based products, so meat, dairy, and eggs, consumers are paying much more attention to specific brands. I'll use Scotch beef or Scotch lamb as an example here, because with the Scotch beef or, or lamb brand clearly recognisable on products, consumers have trust that the product has been farmed in Scotland to some of the highest animal health and welfare standards anywhere in the world. But more locally, at an individual farm level, farmers and crofters have the opportunity to create their own brand, really add value and tell their own unique story. So where should you start? Go back to your roots. Your brand identity and story should be real, authentic and trustworthy. Farming and crofting is steeped in history. Often multiple generations have farmed the land and cared for the environment. If you are a new entrant to agriculture or crofting, then that's a great story too. What's your, what's your background? How did you get into farming? What are your plans for the future? Your roots are unique to you and only you, so celebrate them. Commit to your values and make them relevant. Why should consumers choose your brand over others in the market? Consumers nowadays don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Your customers need to care and engage with your values or else they will just spend their money elsewhere. Find a reason to encourage customers to care about your values. It may be a case of educating them. It could be something around your environmental or animal welfare credentials. It could be supporting local employment in your, in your area providing opportunities for young people or for those with learning difficulties, or it could be giving something back to the community. Social media is a wonderful tool for building a brand and an online community. Be authentic and real. People love to see faces behind the brand. It could be you out feeding cows, gathering sheep, or it could be your children sitting on the tractor or combine at harvest time. It's these posts that gain much more traction. Build interest in your brand and your story. We have produced another of these short videos looking at positive PR, and we have also produced three podcasts which are available on the Farm Advisory Service website. These podcasts feature Jane Craigie from Jane Craigie Marketing, Martha Bryce from Soundbite PR, and Claire Pollock from our Dross Farm Shop. For more information on building a brand, telling a story, or social media, there are webinar recordings and fact sheets available on the FAS website, and check out our YouTube channel. If you have a specific inquiry and would like to speak to a member of the team, 
then please contact the advice line. The details are on the screen. Thank you.